Welcome to an Inside the Red Raider special report. I'm Jarrett Johnson. I'm joined by the Mighty Joe Yeager. Mighty Joe, man, a lot of stuff has happened. I thought we'd come together, talk about some of the some of these things, this, these truly newsworthy events that's going on with Texas Tech Athletics. And I think the first thing we should start off with, Joe, is these facilities upgrades. Now, I just want to set the table, and I want to hear your opinion on it. The South End Zone is getting a major uplift. Right after this 2022 season, the demolish is going to happen. It's going to be four levels, all kinds of stuff, club, uh, suites, uh, new locker rooms, and then everything's going to be connected. We're right here in the middle of it where it's going to be connected. I think pretty much where the Sky Bridge is going to be, uh, you know, by the, SP, the Sports Performance Center, the indoor facility in the track, and then, of course, the football facilities, which is going to be the Dusty Womble uh, football center, I think is what it's going to be called. So, which is going to get demolished and it's going to be on two levels. So, ah, that's a lot, Monty Joe. This seems like big time to me. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. You know, I think uh, basically, you know, with, with facilities, you know, what you're talking about is um, baseline facilities that are competitive allow you to be, at least be competitive. They're, I mean, just because right. you got the, the, the best facilities in the conference or whatever doesn't mean you're going to win the conference. But, but at least it gives you a chance. You know, it puts you in contention. I mean, if you're far behind on facilities, I mean, if you've got a shack and everybody else has got a palace, yeah. uh, then, you know, you're, you're really behind the eight ball. So um, what's happening here is, is a necessary thing to at least sort of keep up with the Joneses. And to me, uh, the, the interesting thing is, is to look at what happened with the basketball program yeah. and their facilities. I mean, basically, you had two big deals happen over there. It's the building of the USA, which I believe opened up in 99. Okay, then the Womble yeah. last year. And what those two things did was they put Texas Tech basically on the, the top level of college basketball yeah. in terms of facilities. Now, uh, look, what has Texas Tech basketball been like this century? It's been pretty, pretty doggone good, good yeah. right? All right, so especially, here lately. Uh, especially lately, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, obviously that's not all facilities. I mean, you, you got to hire the right coaches and right. things like that. Get, but I don't think it's a coincidence uh, that the basketball program is where it's at right after these facility upgrades. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, if uh, the USA and the Womble could do for Texas Tech basketball something similar, what we're going to see with the upgrades in football. A similar sort of a result, uh, then then you're looking at a slam, a grand slam home run here. So, um, you know, I'm hoping that that is the case. Uh, certainly, it's going to be very impressive to see, and um, you know, we'll just have to wait a couple of years, and, and we will see. One thing I like, and this is kind of mixed. Like I think most people wanted the double T, which is why I kind of have it zoomed out more than usual, so you can see the the old double T scoreboard. I like that they're keeping it, or at least they're replacing it. Uh, I think Kirby Hokan actually said in the video when they when they announced the facilities that it might actually be bigger than the current Double T scoreboard, the new one. But it's going to be basically a replica. You know, to me, it's iconic. I always look for it every time I come to the stadium. I can't help it. I mean, Double T is the brand. We've heard so much about the brand, and that's. I mean, when you see the Double T, you think of one thing. You think of Texas Tech. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, and if you can't uh, keep the original, which apparently I guess is architecturally uh, or engineering wise impossible. Right. That's what we've been hearing for the last God knows how long. Uh, so if you can't do that, then yeah, a replica and a bigger replica is, is the best uh, possible, you know, fallback position there. So, you know, I don't think anybody's going to complain too much about that. You know, I, I saw somebody on the site mention, you know, what, a, what are they going to do with the old one? You know, I mean, <laughs> and, and there are people out there who would pay good money for, you know, a part. You know, they break that thing up and, and, and shoot, man, you can raise another $100,000 for the, the athletic department right there, get you some NIL, <laughs> you know, out of the old uh, something like that. So, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, you don't want to see the double T scoreboard go away. For the amount of money that some of these people like Dusty Womble or Cody Campbell are putting into the facilities, I think they should get that in their backyard. No, no, no doubt they have acres and acres, you know, on, on multiple properties, and you know that would look pretty. That would be something. The man cave of a Campbell there, huh? You know, it'd probably fit. That'd be one Maybe. heck of a man cave there. Well, I, bet, I imagine he's got a heck of a man cave. He probably does. But uh, you know, one thing you said after the initial question about it doesn't guarantee success. That's for a video coming up because uh, I think we're going to preview fall camp. 
We're going to talk about uh, the upcoming season a little bit. So uh, it's right around the corner, uh, corner, Monty Joe. So I can't wait. Great stuff from you as always. Thank you all for watching. And until next time.